Hello Libra. Welcome to Man of Delight. Uh, my channel. I am, my name is Karen and I am an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame. And I've been doing Twin Flame readings for quite some time and just ventured off into doing the rest of the Zodiac signs for love readings. And this is your December 2016 love reading. I have called in the angels. I've called in Divine Source. My God, my Creator, the Ascended Masters, my True Guides, my Higher Self, my Twins Higher Self to assist with this reading. I do use the traditional Rider Waite Tarot along with Oracle cards, and I do use a clarifying deck as well if I feel like there's a card that needs clarification. And with all readings, take what resonates and leave the rest. This is for every Libra that will come on YouTube and look for this reading. So it's for a huge group of people. If it does resonate, then I'm the reader for you. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, I do leave my information below. They are $44 through December and they will go up significantly after January 1st. Uh, since I am a twin flame, I do draw twin flames to me. You may know you're a twin flame, you may not know you're a twin flame, you may not be a twin flame. But if you do feel as if you are and resonate with it and would like to join Twin Souls Network Group, it is a Facebook group, uh, over a thousand members now, and I do leave the information for that below as well. And I'm just waiting for the cards to be ready. All right bottom of the deck for you is the nine of cups Libra this is wonderful this is happiness uh, this is uh, wishes being fulfilled um, this is having plenty you know he's sitting pretty he has everything he needs that's wonderful your partners energy your partners challenge your partner, how they relate to you and their outcome. This is your energy, your challenge, how you relate to your partner and your outcome. I will set the bottom of the deck right there so we can see it. I do pull from the Energy Oracle cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I like to pull one, sometimes more than that comes out. We'll see. That one wants to come out. Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. For Libra. Love reading December 2016, Wisdom of the Oracle. What are your messages? What is your guidance? That one wants to come out. Archangel cards, excuse me. And these are Archangel Oracle, Doreen Virtue. Archangels, what are your messages for Libra, December 2016, your guidance? Ascended Masters deck, Keepers of the Light Oracle by Kyle Gray. Whoa, that's like a stack. All right, 
they're excited. Keepers of the light, Oracle deck. Messages, Libra, December, love reading, 2016. Let's get started, Libra. Seven of Pentacles. This is your partner's energy. This is, or Eight of Pentacles. I'm so sorry. Eight of Pentacles. This is working diligently. This is um, an apprentice card. This is learning a skill. Um, it's Pentacles, so it's definitely tangible. It's earthly possessions, so I feel as if they are about their work, maybe their schooling, their career. Their challenge is the Ace of Pentacles, and this is very much a money-related card. Um, it's a new beginning. See the, the little trail there? Starting a new beginning underneath there. So I feel as if they are really wanting to start a new beginning in career. Um, maybe in travel. Um, it's a new beginning. And the challenge is that they're trying to get it off the ground. So I feel as if they're definitely... Um, needing an increase <clears throat> when this comes up in a different position than the challenge position it does represent an increase or a new beginning in money so i feel as if that's challenging for them is to get their earthly endeavors off the ground and get it started they are relating to you and viewing you as the Emperor, Major Arcana. The Emperor is, the energy of the Emperor is in complete charge. <clears throat> his own boss, he's in complete control of every aspect of his life, uh, everything. He's just in charge. Um, he's in control, he's successful, he's his own boss, um, mature and wise is the emperor energy. So you could be, you could be more successful than your partner and they view you as that. They could be projecting this to you, that this is what they're trying to achieve is being their own boss, being in control, and being successful. Outcome, the chariot, another major arcana. Goodness gracious, this is taking charge. So, this is victory. Um, and this is a hard-won victory. It's coming into balance. Uh, it's movement in that, in that victory. So they're coming into it. So I feel as if their hard work that they're putting in is going to pay off for them. Your energy is the High Priestess. May their major arcana, Libra. Um, the High Priestess is uh, ahead of her game spiritually. She is 
intuitive. Um, she leans on her intuition. She's spiritually minded. She's um, wise. Very wise. She's coming into her psychic powers. Um, that's your energy that you're putting out. I feel like that you're using your intuition to become more wise about your journey and those things that you um, are your goals that you're trying to achieve. But it's very spiritual. It's divine guidance because it's a major arcana and that's your energy. Nice. Your challenge is the three of swords. This is heartbreak. This is sorrow and overcoming that heartbreak. Um, it could mean that there is a third party involved. This could mean some healing is required from past hurts. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be... Um, a love relationship this is a love reading but you know someone else could have broken your heart you know a best friend it could be an old lover you know it could be a family member someone has broken your heart and it's challenging for you to heal your heart at this time how you are relating to your partner is victory And recognition. Um, you're on a horse, so I feel as if you're wanting to to um, move forward with with letting your partner know that you have the victory over a certain situation. Maybe it is your heart. A challenge here um, but this is this is a positive card this is having victory over something um, that you've been trying to get victory over and being recognized for that so that's what you're projecting that you you've made it Your outcome, death, major arcana. This is a clear ending. It's over. It's completely done. So this is the end of a cycle for you at the end of the month, Libra. It's change and transformation, um, but it's definitely an ending. And endings have to happen for beginnings to happen. But it's change and transformation and just an end. So a completing of a cycle for you, Libra, at the end of the month. Okay, the energy card we are getting is strategy card 21 strategy I will read what the book says about strategy um, but what I'm getting is that it's the energy of the high priestess for sure it's card 21 which we know deduces to 3 as well Making a plan. Making a plan. So this is about you. It's showing the journal there and just about you writing down the direction you want to go in. 
Uh, consider any potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure some short-term goals. And it's encouraging you to spend some time setting things in order. So basically prioritize is what I'm getting from this. They're encouraging you to get some things in order. Okay. And wisdom of the Oracle card for you is Observer, card 49. And this is my first time pulling this card too. Observer, 49. Perspective, neutral observation from a distance. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now. Cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. So I feel as if this is talking about you dealing with the heartbreak or the loss, or it could be perceived heartbreak. Um or expecting heartbreak but this is telling you to um, be an observer and it goes in hand in hand with the strategy card as far as observing taking a step back making some plans and not jumping too emotionally into the situation okay and the Archangel card is courage Archangel Ariel is encouraging you to be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Have courage. So with the energy of the High Priestess Libra, um, I feel as if you're really coming into your psychic abilities and your psych psychic powers. And this card is encouraging you that you, we all know this, if you're spiritually minded, especially if you have anyone who is of any specific religion in your family, you know that you're going to uh, send red flags to them as if, you know, you've, you've gone off on some wild, crazy tangent and you're just not yourself anymore. And But this is encouraging you to stand up for what it is that you believe in. You have, if you're on a spiritual journey at all, and I take it that you are from watching this card reading, then you have dismantled some of those old beliefs and you've come into believing something totally new and this is telling you to stand up for those beliefs. And the final card we have Lady Portia. How beautiful is this card? Absolutely beautiful. Divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. So, absolutely. It ties all this in together. As far as you embracing your spirituality okay um you making a significant ending uh, a change and a transformation um it's letting you know that things are in divine order and you should do what you feel is right 
Uh, things are being divinely guided here. You got four major arcanas in your spread. So um, things are definitely being divinely guided. You're encouraged to um, make some goals and strategies and write them down to observe. <clears throat> and maybe as you're observing, write those things down as well. Stand up for your beliefs. Trust your trust your knowledge. And I really feel like um, you're going to be sitting pretty. That's the overall energy. You're going to be sitting pretty at the end of this cycle. Because I feel as if you're going to totally heal your heart. You've got the victory card. That's what you're projecting out there. It's the end of a cycle for you. Things are in divine order. And, yeah. It's a good reading. It's a good reading. So, um, as far as your, your love life goes, you have to totally stand up for, for what you believe in. Okay. All right, Libra. Um, that is your reading for December. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope this resonated for you. Um, and like I said, I do leave all of my information below. Have a blessed, blessed holiday month of December. And um, I send you much love. Namaste.